Next, we hear from Michael Ellis on Smart Buildings. Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this discussion about smart buildings. You know, at Johnson Controls, we are transforming how buildings work, and we're doing it through smart buildings. So let's dive in. So when you think about smart buildings, you're thinking about obviously not only operational technology, the core platforms that we actually run our buildings with, HVAC, you know, uh, controls with uh, fire and security, et cetera, but also the information technology. And infusing those together really changes the data that we start to compile and we start to understand about how buildings actually operate. So our ability to actually create new outcomes by bringing these two worlds together and bringing that dynamic capability that's infused by both of those worlds in terms of operational and information technology is game changing. So we couldn't be more excited to be on this dialogue with you about smart buildings. So what are smart buildings? Let's talk about this for a second. You know, think about the evolution. So on the left side of this slide, you see typical buildings. You know, typical building, most of the systems are not connected. Probably none of them are. They're all siloed. You might have HVAC, you might have controls up, uh, running HVAC, you might have fire and security, et cetera. Of course, the IT system's not connected whatsoever with the uh, operational technology. And if you move over to connected buildings where you might see a system or two that are starting to connect and share data. They might be sharing some insights, et cetera, and getting a little smarter, a little more optimized about how you might run a building. But move over to smart buildings and you're talking about a totally different thing. You're talking about truly the marriage of IT and operational technology. You're really starting to compile the data and build insights and, and concepts about how to better run that building. And of course, what you're driving there is outcomes. You're looking for the most impactful opportunities to impact value for those building owners and the people that occupy those buildings. It's not all about just savings, but it's also about creating new experiences and creating goals and reaching goals like sustainability and carbon footprint reduction. So really, really impactful, especially in this day and age. So what do we think about that from a market size? So it's significant. So when you look at this slide, you know, and you see a CAGR of 12%, that's interesting. 70 billion in terms of market over the next nine, 10 years, also interesting. But recognize that this is pertaining to the technology, the sensors, the devices, the IoT elements, the cloud applications, et cetera, that fulfill that, that world of smart buildings. Understand that the real cornerstone here is smart buildings are what drive what George talked about earlier, 250 billion in market opportunity. So smart buildings and the technology behind smart buildings are really the catalyst to making that come alive and come real. So it's not only the 70 billions over the next eight, nine, 10 years, but actually the impact on achieving the 250 plus billion in market opportunity. And if you look on the right side of the slide, it is about outcomes. So how do we really deliver something of value? Not just the mechanical and the information technology capabilities, but the actual value. And of course, underpinning everything we talk about these days is building health, sustainability, intelligent security, capabilities around experience that change the game for building owners. So when you think and you step back, and of course, we've listened to a lot of our customers talk to us about this, they see the value of buildings changing. And of course, that change is predicated on new experiences. And of course, it is assumed that those experiences are more healthy because of the way they're managing the building. And oh, by the way, can we do this with reduced energy? Can we start to impact our goal around reducing carbon footprint for those same buildings? And of course, that's what Smart Buildings is about. How do we activate those key outcomes for our customers? So one of the key elements to this, and I'm sure you heard VJ talk about the connected world and how we get there, is open platforms built on open standards and really you know, created so that we can bring in an ecosystem alive with applications, capabilities, AI, IoT, et cetera, all of the buzzwords that make that world actually operate and become much bigger than frankly just JCI, but all of our partners coming together to solve that world. And open is one of the most key words. So actually creating the, the ease of integration, the ease of connectivity 
for whatever vendor's technology might be in those buildings that are 30, 40, 80 years old and starting to front end that technology. So not only the new design buildings can benefit from these technologies and capabilities of connected and the insights that drive outcomes, but also the building stock that's been there for a long time. We can start to front end that technology and make that come alive. So really exciting. And of course, we're taking a vertical approach to this as well. We're starting to understand how do we take and mold some of the capabilities from that platform and apply them to very specific use cases. Could be hospitals and healthcare, retail, commercial, of course, education and campuses and residential. You know, and it's not just about driving costs down, but it's actually about impacting revenue, impacting productivity, impacting experiences so that people in retail establishments can have a different level of experience because of the way the building is being run and the experiences that are being elevated by the systems in that building. And of course, if you can reduce response time in hospitals, so think code blue, and the ability to achieve a lower time frame of responding to code blue, it's game changing. Mortality is a key value driver. How do I bring that rate down? to increase the value of our hospitals and our, our, the view of our hospital in particular as a building owner. So vertical, very important. Industry is very important in building purpose-built applications to deliver value. One great example is in Dubai. So the largest government zero energy building in the world. We, we are thrilled and honored to be a part of this. Dubai Electri Electricity and Water Authority. And you know, it's just a wonderful example. If you look at the outcomes in the light blue on the right side of these two graphics, you can start to understand the depth of what we're delivering of that combination of information technology and operational technology. And starting to bring together the data from all of those systems to enable these levels of outcome. Of course, for Johnson Controls, we look at this and go through our OpenBlue platform, we can deliver, us, deliver this like no other vendor in the world. We are very unique in our ability because of the breadth of our portfolio to deliver against this vision. So that breadth that you saw earlier from VJ and Jeff, absolutely critical in understanding the data and the insights that come off these systems. So driving for us at Johnson Controls, higher reoccurring revenues that are sticky in long-term, services growth because we can understand how to better maintain, monitor, and manage those technology platforms and of course, pull through additional systems that we bring to bear and deliver against that vision. So how do we do it? You know, when you think about, ha have things changed at Johnson Controls to be able to enable this to become real? The answer is of course, yes. Over the last several years, we've upgraded and updated and accelerated our go-to-market capabilities in the field so that we have digital ready capabilities, tiger teams, if you will, smart sales teams that can also get involved with the customer about visioning and understanding how to get at those outcomes and value through technology. Of course, customer success is a big piece of this. So listening to the customer and understanding those outcomes, it's not about just installing systems and walking away, but it's actually about building reoccurring value props where we're involved in the delivery of that value ongoingly, both from our service organization, as well as the technology and the reoccurring applications that we're delivering. So customer success is critical to that. Think software industry, sticky, re, you know, great retention on subscriptions and capabilities that we're delivering to make that real. And of course, ecosystem and partners. So like any technology firm, like a software firm, we innovate and we co-innovate with our partners to bring that alive, accelerate innovation in terms of how we bring that to market faster, but also work with our partners around delivering it hand in hand with the, uh, the customer themselves and our partners to make that real and, and bring it together and bring it live faster. So we're really excited about these capabilities. You know, one of the big changes, you know, when you think about Jots Controls, you might think, well, you know, you spend a lot of time in the basement. You got chillers down there, you got control panels, you got security platforms, et cetera. Well, we're also extremely relevant at the boardroom today. So boardroom and basement. And we've earned a right to play there because we are talking about the outcomes that are most critical to those building owners. So a sustainability. Again, I know of 
almost no CEO in the Fortune 1000, Fortune 2000 worldwide that isn't thinking about their carbon footprint and how to deliver and activate against that mission. It's not just about buying credits, it's about actually activating a strategy that is ongoing and reducing that energy footprint. We do that at Johnson Controls. And so our right to you know, not only affect sustainability and carbon footprint, but also importantly, helping the customers build new value props, propositions for how they value their own building. And that's by the building systems, frictionless security, healthy buildings that are more safe for people to come back to and work and operate and, and do retail uh, within. And of course, also creating different experiences because of these systems coming together, IT and OT, and making that real. So really exciting for us. And of course, on the go-to-market side, we also in the last several years have put in place in all of the theaters worldwide, regional vice presidents that are dedicated to digital. And so they're there to augment our current platform teams in place, selling to our, our key and core customers and bringing to bear great business development, professional services, ecosystem, solution architects capabilities. And many of these folks have come out of the technology sector and our software sector. And so they're infusing and working hand in hand, arm in arm with our current in-region teams to bring up that and accelerate that whole delivery of IT and OT. So really, really exciting for us. You know, in customer success, you, you might have heard this phrase before, there is nothing more important than superior customer experience and return on investment. So if we're serious about outcomes, we're also really super serious about customer success. It's about escalating and elevating deployment and tiger teams that bring to bear and bring alive that digital component, that artificial intelligence, all those levels of new capabilities and technology that you heard from VJ and Jeff, and bring that alive in everything that we do, including our service platforms that Ganesh is rolling out. And of course, listening to the customer, customer su success management, customer experience, and customer design to understand what is relevant in delivering these systems and what creates really great experiences and usability is absolutely critical. So this is a big deal to us. This is part of our heartbeat of delivering amazing new value to our customer base. And of course, I mentioned ecosystem several times. Ecosystem and partnerships are really, really important to us. As I talked about earlier, it's about co-innovation and accelerating that, but it's also about co-selling. It's going to market together and also going to market from the standpoint of implementation and system integration with our key partners. Very exciting to us. We have that muscle within our firm. We are very excited about that journey with our partners. I list a few here on the slide that are examples of those, of those partners. We have many more like Intel and Arm and Atos and others, but let's hear from a couple. As the world's largest commercial real estate services company, CBRE is at the leading edge of helping companies plan for how they will utilize real estate today and in the future. We're helping our clients achieve their sustainability goals, improve efficiency, and enhance workplace experiences. Our longstanding partnership with JCI is strengthened by their strong commitment to sustainability and investment in smart building solutions. With the world's buildings accounting for some 40% of the world's carbon footprint, companies need to digitize their building operations so they can embed sustainability by design to improve overall workforce health and productivity. That is why Accenture is privileged to work with Johnson Controls to deliver holistic solutions that apply technology, analytics, and services. So our clients no longer need to figure this out themselves, go to multiple point providers, or pay for bespoke solutions. So you just heard from two of our great partners. We are thrilled with that whole motion with them in delivering the best of value. You know, we are so excited about our traction. So we are not only seeing a pipeline growth that's substantial, as you see here on the slide, 75% growth over year over year uh, for a very substantial amount, 1.2 billion, but also we're experiencing extraordinary win rates 
on those smart building projects over the last 12 months. So more than half of the deals we enter into from the standpoint of a bid and a design and understanding that customer journey and dialogue with that customer, we're winning. So it's a really, really exciting time. And of course, it would be wrong for me not to mention the margins we're experiencing. So we're experiencing what you would hope, software-like margins on our software products. And we're really excited about what that means to us as we continue to build out and grow our whole portfolio of capabilities and infuse software, by the way, in almost all our solutions. And of course, also, that means amazing contract value. So the pull along within smart buildings is you start to also pull all the rest of the core portfolio that comes along with our, our full roadmap of solutions and capabilities. And of course, that contract value over the life cycle gets bigger and bigger. So higher margin growth, amazing 10x contract value, really great double digit growth in terms of the market itself. We couldn't be more excited about being on this journey.